All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan on the legendary Batita event. Now, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I wanna go over his easy A details. So if you guys happen to already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, okay? So starting with the leader skill, it's Future Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And his passive is attack plus 158% and raises defense by up to 158%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. Reduces damage received by 30% plus an additional damage reduction of 7% at the start of each turn up to 28%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when there is a Future Saga category ally whose name includes Trunks attacking in the same turn. And as you can see, his links are all currently at level 1, so he could definitely be even better than what you see in this video. And uh, I gave him a level 5 defense skill orb and a level 4 additional skill orb. So there you go, that is the EZA Fizz Future Gohan. The team we'll be using today is a Hybrid Saiyans team. And once again, we're on the Legendary Vegeta event. So on this first rotation, he's linked up with the Tech Transforming Trunks. Actually, hold on, let me uh, put him in the middle for some additional links. There we go. And he's starting with 149,474 defense, which is pretty good considering the fact that he's going to be getting up to 58% damage reduction after 4 appearances. And he could still get an additional 158% defense since the lower our HP is, the higher his defense will be. So I'm really not too concerned about his defense. And uh, let's give these guys some orbs to see what the uh, future Gohan can do. Now, full disclosure, I have not used them at all since I finished the... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. So I kept the future Gohan in the middle because I wanted him to get links from both the LR Gohan and the Tech Trunks. But... Uh, I didn't think he was going to super us in that first slot, which really sucks. So yeah, we took a lot more damage than we had to that turn. It'll be fine though. And uh, as I was saying, yeah, so I haven't used him at all since I finished the Extreme Z Battle event. So this is kind of like a first impression for me as well. And that first super wasn't too bad. That first super was just over 4 mil, I believe, right? And we did about 3 million damage. I mean, it could have been better, but considering the fact that this is definitely a unit that's much more geared towards defense, the kit is much more focused on defense, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. And the good thing is, once again, the lower our HP is, the more defense Gohan will get. So the next time he comes around, which is right now, he should have even more defense than he had in the first turn. So let's see what happens here. Oh, we also got the uh, support here from this uh, SDR Trunks. So yeah, we're up to 184,000 defense. And I guess I'll put the Gohan in the first slot here. And he will be getting more attack as well. Hopefully somewhere in the range of like 4.5 to 5 mil maybe. Taking 48, 19 and just under 4.5 just under 4.5 okay so basically i think as far as my gohan is concerned in this showcase with level one links and no attack skill orbs or anything like that um we're not really gonna see him get over five mil like 4.5 maybe close to five mil if we get an additional super but his damage is not really going to I think impress anybody too much because at this point right in today's day and age if a new EZA unit yo this guy's going off <laughs> this this trucks is going off um if a new EZA unit especially a Dokkan Fest EZA is not doing like 5 mil plus attack 
Super Super um, on turn one. And I think there are some people out there that are going to call him trash. And I don't think that's really correct, you know, but I understand why some people might think that way because um, there are a lot of people out there who believe damage is the most important thing, right? But to me, man, I've always valued defense over offense. Um, especially because, like, when it comes to, like, power creep, right? You know, hard-hitting units will always be power crept eventually. This is something that I was talking to uh, a subscriber about, Dark Warrior. He was saying, like, yeah, you know, units that hit hard, they'll eventually be power crept. But if a unit has good defense then they're going to have relevance for much longer than a unit that just straight up hits really hard. And I tend to agree with that, so I personally really like this Gohan. I mean, obviously, of course, you know, we still have a lot more to see. It's still very early in this showcase, in this run, so maybe, maybe his defense won't uh, hold up as well in the later stages, but I kind of doubt it. I think uh, even when we get to, like... You know the SSB Vegeta. Um, he should still be tanking very, very well. That's just my prediction. That's just what I think is gonna happen. We'll see. Um, but yeah, right now he's doing great, and yeah, that's all I gotta say for now, man. Now, of course, his his damage will never get really better than what we see. Um, four mil, four point five. And I do wish he hit harder, <laughs> as much as I'd say that, like, it doesn't matter that much um, if a unit, like, is not a super hard hitter. You still always want more damage if you can get it, right? So, if he was getting somewhere in the range of, like, 5, 5.5, that would be great. But considering just how great he is on defense, uh, I can't complain too much. I, I can't complain too much about the lack of defense, I would say. Wait, hold on. Aren't we supposed to get the unit super attack here? Or did I... I'm kind of confused, actually. I swear, the Trunks gets a unit super attack when you have a youth Gohan on rotation. And we definitely have that here, so how come he didn't get the... Unit super attack, or 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 did did we? Maybe we did get it and I just missed it. Cause I think the first attack is the unit super attack, and then the additional supers are just the regular super attack, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's something like that. Anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on. We're on the Super Saiyan God Vegeta already. This is going pretty quickly, and we're back to 149,000 defense, which is not bad by any means. And let's see how this man holds up against the Int Super Saiyan God, Vegeta, who we do have type advantage against, and I'm hoping we get supered here, because I think it's going to be a great showcase of uh, just how good of a tank he is. If you guys have done this stage, you know that the Super Saiyan God, Vegeta, hits really hard. Like, for, for most units at least, against most units, he does a lot of damage. But with this additional super here, this Gohan is basically going to be untouchable. So please super me. Vegeta, come on. <sighs> okay. That sucks, because now we got two tech units. <laughs> and if he supers one of those, uh, we could be in for a bad time. Okay, no super there. Good. And, I mean, Gohan actually has a lot of defense already, so I'm actually not too concerned about him either. Okay, so no super this turn. Alright, well maybe he's saving it for this turn, and if that's the case, then I should be very careful about my tech Gohan there. Uh, let's put the AGL Gohan in the first slot. That's going to be an 18Q super. Yo, what is up with this Vegeta? Oh yeah, okay, we did get the unit super attack. I just missed it. I missed the first super, and then I saw the additional supers. And I was like, why am I not getting the unit super attack? But we're good. We're good. Yeah, what's up with the COD Vegeta just loving, like, the first slot, man? He has, like, 10 plus attacks in that first slot in the last two turns. Here's the super. Uh, I think Gohan will do okay, but I'm expecting to take some damage at least, like, 
Oh my god. Okay, a little bit more than some damage. That's actually kind of significant. <laughs> 200k? 200k. So like I said, he hits hard. He hits really hard. That's why I wanted him to super my uh, future Gohan. Because I wanted to see what he would have taken. And I think, I think with the built-up damage reduction at this point, um, it should be at 58% now. He was going to take that for like double digits, man. I think a super right now would do literally like 50 damage to future Gohan. But unfortunately, we weren't able to take a super. And now we're probably going to kill... Oh, never mind. There's the additional. Now we're probably going to kill him, so we'll never know. But it's okay, because we still got two more stages. We got the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and also the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta to test his defense. Okay. Um, Let's see. I mean, these guys are all quite tanky. I think we'll be fine to... Uh, not item here so i'm just going to yeah, give these guys some orb try to heal up a bit with the same type orbs since our hp is kind of low and we will be fine oh there's a doken attack okay so gonna focus for this doken attack let's get all the circles which we usually don't because i always end up missing one for some reason there we go all right we're perfect today we're perfect today By the way, guys, if you notice, like, my voice um, seems kind of different today. At least it sounds different to me. And I don't know what it is, but I've been feeling kind of down for the past couple of days, actually. Um, I originally wanted to do a stream for the Part 2 LR's reveal video, which uh, was obviously, like, really hype. And a lot of people wanted me to do a live reaction to it, but I couldn't get up. It was at 6 a.m. my time. And I was just feeling like so tired and so like out of it that I just did not wake up for that. And now I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm still feeling the after effects. Um, yeah, so that's why my voice might be a little bit weird today or a little bit off. I'm still uh, recovering, I guess. And don't, you know, think anything too crazy. I don't really think it's uh, anything serious, you know. I think it's just like a common cold or... I don't know, something not that serious. Anyways, <laughs> getting back to the showcase, uh, we are at 129,000 defense. So obviously, you know, kind of low, but once again, 58% damage reduction. So I am not concerned at all. I think uh, Vegeta should try us, try to super us, just to see if he can get through this, this brick wall. That is Fizz Future Gohan. Come on, man. Just do it. Just, just super me. Oh, my God. Why? Why does this always happen? When I'm showcasing tanks, right? When I'm showcasing units that I really want to, like, take super attacks, they almost never take super attacks. And, of course, when I'm doing, when I'm doing like, a regular run, right? When I'm, like, trying to actually beat a stage uh, on stream or something like that, and I don't want certain units to take supers. Those are always the units that get hit by supers. It's just kind of ironic. And, and, and kind of funny, I guess. But like in a sad way. You know, not in like a funny way. <laughs> not in like a, you know, laughing kind of way. More in like a I want to cry kind of way. So yeah, it really sucks. Hopefully, SSBE Vegeta will super our Gohan more than the last few Vegetas have because right now we're not really getting to see just how great of a tank the Gohan is. I mean I guess conceptually you guys probably know you know just based on the details the kit that like he's gonna be a very good tank but I want to see the numbers. I really want to see what a Super Saiyan Blue or SSB Vegeta Super would do to him right now with that fully built up damage reduction. All right, here we go. Last chance, last chance. Let's get it. Please, please super me. Vegeta, I beg you. Just do it. Uh, 
Okay, now I'm hoping we don't kill him with the super here, but we probably will. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, look, his damage is actually not bad. If you're if you're getting crits, of course, then he's hitting pretty hard. Um Obviously, you know, if you don't have the crits, then I think his damage will be a bit underwhelming, but so far, even though he's not hitting as hard as a lot of people might expect him to, he's hitting hard enough for, I think, any event in the game, really. Like, he's hitting hard enough, basically. Like, he does enough damage, he could hit harder, he could do more damage, but I can't complain about it. I think the the defense, the insane defense, which we aren't really able to see yet, at least haven't been able to see, uh, more than makes up for maybe the slightly underwhelming damage. So on this turn, uh, I'm thinking we do pop something just because I'm a little bit concerned about um, the trunks, actually. Although, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, screw it. We're not using an item, because if I use an item now... Um, oh, you know what? I could use a Princess Snake. I was going to say, if I use an item now, it's going to affect the next turn. But the Princess Snake would not affect the next turn. But I don't think we need to use anything. I think these guys will be fine. Even the Trunks, as long as he doesn't get supered. I mean, there's like 12 attacks this turn. Only two of them are in the middle. So, chances are... There won't be a super this turn, but you never know. I'm hoping there won't be, because there's a higher chance that next turn there'll be a super. We'll see. We'll see. This whole showcase has just been me trying to get <laughs> uh, future Gohan to be supered, and we're actually having a really hard... Oh god. Okay, luckily, we survived that. <laughs> luckily, we survived that. That could have been really bad. Uh, so, yeah. Vegeta's kind of a douche. I kind of hate this guy right now. All I want him to do is super my future Gohan, and he just will not super future Gohan. <sighs> Why? Okay, on the bright side, look, we're at very low HP, and our defense, actually, hold on, let me put him in the middle. Our defense is now up to 240,000 with the links from the uh, Gohan and the and the Trunks. That's really good. With 58% damage reduction, that's actually insane. And also, he greatly raises defense, right, on the super, so... I mean, uh, in this scenario here, he would be untouchable. He would literally take no damage. Now... I'm concerned about the other guys, so I think I do have to actually pop something here, which is stupid. Mm, actually, do I need to? Maybe not. Okay, just to be safe, let's let's, let's pop a Princess Snake. Let's pop a Princess Snake. Okay, um, I'm going to put the Trunks, or sorry, Gohan in the first slot, just because there's slightly more attacks. I could, I could put him in the end, but I do want to keep him in rotation. So we'll keep the the uh, LR Gohan at the back there. All right, guys. I mean, hopefully you'll we'll get a chance to see him take a super attack from the SSB Vegeta. But at this point, there's no guarantees. Um, on the bright side, you know his damage. Honestly, over the course of this uh, showcase, has to me seemed pretty good it, it, it seemed pretty good I will never say he is a great damage dealer I'll never say that he hits super hard by any means because he doesn't right that's just a fact okay I should have put future Gohan at the end I should have put future Gohan at the end that was my mistake uh, anyways um what was I saying again? Uh, I was saying that... Yeah, no, his damage is better than I would have expected. And uh, his defense is as good as I was hoping for, which is freaking amazing. I just wish that we would have had more opportunities to see exactly 
how impressive he is on defense. Um, the chances are, though, he's not going to super us this turn. So hopefully next turn, before we kill him, we'll get one more shot at taking a super without any item effects. And, uh, you know, leave this showcase on a high note. Yeah. That would be awesome. Okay, a couple of supers for the trunks. Build up his defense a bit. I like this. Um, hopefully he doesn't super us again. That would really suck. But I think we have enough built up defense now where he wouldn't die to a super. Are you freaking kidding me? I hate this Vegeta so much. I hate this Vegeta so much. He is such a douche. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. All right, here we go. 32k uh, HP. Um, you know, no items, no damage reduction items active. Any super us though? This guy's not gonna super us. He refuses to super the Gohan. It's like he knows we're showcasing him or something. And he doesn't want to embarrass himself. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. He knows we're showcasing the future Gohan and he doesn't want to be embarrassed by his, you know, sad damage that he would do. And, uh... Yeah. Wow. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> we tried, man. Nobody can knock me for, for not trying. Okay, nobody can say I did not try. To take as many supers as possible. With the future Gohan. It just wasn't meant to be. It just wasn't meant to be. Okay, so guys, take my word for it. <laughs> take my word for it. Gohan is one of the best tanks in the game, period. If you satisfy the condition of having a uh, future saga trunks on rotation, because that 120% uh, attack and defense boost obviously is is huge. But as long as you you know have that going, then he is literally one of the best tanks in the game, man. He's great for like everything: super battle road, extreme super battle road, legendary Goku event, legendary Vegeta event, infinite Dragon Ball history, the God event, um, and so on and so forth. Like any event in the game, he's gonna be great for you as a tank that can also deal some solid damage once again never gonna say he's an amazing damage dealer because that's not true but he hits hard enough for how fantastic of a tank he is so there you go guys i mean even though we didn't really take that many supers uh i think this guy never took more than double digits throughout the entire showcase right like there was never a point in this showcase on this event on the legendary vegeta event which is still pretty hard um where he took a normal attack or any attack for more than double digits or maybe triple digits like 110 damage or something like that right so like yeah he's pretty good he's pretty good i, I love this unit I've always loved defensive units, that's why the uh, AGL Kid Gohan, the, the Dokkan Vest one, that a lot of people are not super high on, I actually rate him a lot higher than the average person, just because I really like how tanky that guy gets too, you know, so there you go, man, that's the showcase, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the uh, EZA Super Saiyan Future Gohan, did he impress you, did he disappoint you, or are you somewhere in between? And that's going to do it for me today, guys. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.